Hello, my name is Wanda Clark, and I wanted to share um, a book that I'm in the process of doing. I got a lot of it done, and I thought I would uh, stop and share it with you. I just haven't put the pictures and the poems and stuff like that in. And I got the idea from Liz, The Paper Project, and it was a film for beginners. And she uh, said to uh, score it down. It's 12, this envelope is 12 by um, nine. And so she took it and if, uh, if you have one of these rulers, they have a center section. And it, right at six inches, is where um, there we go right at this six inches is the center and uh, your spine you measure out you know this side or that side so I wanted a one inch spine so I put a mark here and a mark here and then I went and um, scored it from there and I used um, eight papers, and that was including the envelope that I put in there. I counted that as the eighth paper. And so here uh, this is. And I made a slit right here. Well, you can see it. I made a slit right here. And then I made a little postcard. And so... Uh, when I was doing it, I put something hard inside here and then just cut a slit. And so here's a little postcard. And then, you know, you can put a picture or you can write a poem or, or you know, act like it's a letter or even share a memory. And so when you open this up, I made... Um, this is like those little uh, things, you know, that I keep and then I, but I cut it down to size to fit in here. And what I did is I cut it down and then um, I put a white piece of paper in here and put a cloth around here and a cloth here and I sewed it. And then I put little stickers down uh, a tag, little pieces of papers that I had that I thought were cute. They were small because uh, they came from a, a six inch pad. And then I just sewed around each one. And then you can open it up and I sewed this and you can write in here. And there's not very many pages really. And then I left this part for a little tack and so here's a little Takamanga little tag. And then this is just a paper on this paper. And then uh, I cut out a little uh, paper here. And this is uh, where if you want to write your name and something there and then uh, I put two little tags here and glued a circle and and then I made the little tag a circle um, and you can open it up it has a key sticker you could open it up and put the date and then on uh, this one I just uh, sewed here and then I put a little tag right there and put one of those men there and so here's a little tag here's a tag right here and then here's a, a bigger tag and then right here uh, the man is a belly band 
And it says, Dairy, stay calm and carry on. And then it's a picture of a old fashioned track. And that says post. And these are just little uh, things you can put little small poems on. And this was embossed. And then I ran, after I embossed it, I ran it back through. That way I could take it and open it up and write on uh, both sides. And you can still see a little bit of the embossing. And I sewed on this page with the brown thread. But the uh, bobbin is pink. So, and these, um, like these papers in here, this is cardstock, and then these papers in here are thinner. And then here's a, a picture of a woman, and then you open it up. And I think this uh, part uh, I copied from Gala Gustinelli. Now, I don't know if she, if she made it up or if she copied it from someone else, too. And so I put some brads here. And then um, I had these. And then if I want to, I can take this out and write on it. And then here's a little envelope. And I had this envelope for a long time. I decided to go ahead and use it. It's gold and it has kind of red uh, in the background. And then uh, these are stamped. So they have that little splash on both of them. I like that. And then this right here is a band uh, and you can just, you know, slide it out. And all of these are embossed too. And then this right here is a little tag and it's Brad, uh, it's up here. It was like down here in the middle and then uh, different, just different areas to draw your attention. And then this right here, something I had from long ago, and this is embossed too. So it just, uh, oops. And this is the other side of the envelope. I just glued it and put a little sticker down. If I can remember what I was doing, huh? Let me get that. And then another fold. And then this right here is a belly band. And here's a. Uh, A flip. So, and it's embossed too. And you can put it like this or like this, but it seems nicer like that. And then here's a little tag and it says delightful. And then this, uh, I just cut out little curves, little curves on this side and left uh, enough room open to where I can flip it and then pull it. And then when you put it back in, and this paper is thick enough that it, uh, it can go limber. Oops. And then I let, uh, left some paper, now this is hard. Oh, and I noticed uh, some of the women doing flips, and so uh, I tried it. And I went to the sewing machine. My sewing machine's 
right there and I just uh, I went ahead and sewed it and it flips up and this is a little bit more sturdy and I glued this part and I figured I put a ribbon here and I figured that once I start adding things to it I'll know what uh, color I want to use there and this is a hard paper my sister gave me this it's like uh, it had white embossing and I ran it through I think some tea and it made it yellow and uh, then it kind of deleted the, the white embossing and then here's the envelope but you you can't put anything in really the envelope because I sewed uh, around here in pink but what you can do is uh, you know just take it and because I I made the, the tucks in here so these are the pockets where you can tuck stuff in too I'll just have to go through my um, tags and see which one's long enough. And then um, when I did it in the middle, I went ahead and put some charms on it. Here's a little, let's see if I can do this, or they'll show up. So here's the little, looks like the B. And then here's a little heart and then a gear. And I just tied them separately on. And then this is, uh, this is one that I left because I, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. If I'm going to put the pocket up here or turn it this way. And put it there and then put you know something here or draw it more down you know or so i'll mess with this once i get to it and so this is the hard card stock then it uh the paper thins out see and here is uh, a side pocket and then here's a little place you can lift and write something. And then here's the, am I in focus? And then, um, so you can flip that and you can write in here. And so here's another pocket. And this has been embossed too, but I uh, ran it back down. And I seen this from an old um, video. And so I decided that I was gonna do it too. And then I can put a picture over half of that. <clears throat> and so I haven't put anything on this one, but on uh, this picture right here, I went ahead and added one of those uh, paper clips and Le Café uh, Pat, she, uh, I followed her when she did this hidden paper clip and it's hidden. If you open it up, you don't even see it in there. And so uh, she had, it's really cute because she did it where part of it was uh, sticking up and then she put like little bows and things up there and so uh yeah I followed her lead and these are uh this is material I glued down and then I put stickers and then I put that floss embroidery floss and then um I also put a little one there, but inside this envelope is uh, a place to write in. 
And then on the back is a picture. And I stuck the picture behind some dictionary word. And it says, Gribble. Find a fault with something usually on minor grounds. It was a previous critic always ready to gribble. And I seen this guy and I thought he could hold his own. So I put that on the back. And then, yeah, and this holds it good. But because it's so long, it does need that one little part there kind of looks cute there too. And so this part right here is a little poem. And it says, Here in the midst of a lonely abyss, a single joy I find, your presence in my mind. And I think we all have people that we just think of from time to time. And it seems so pleasant. Oops. Oh, okay, so then, um, this is just some more paper to put some other stuff down on, to write on, you know, to, and then, uh, I sewed it, it's brown, with the brown thread, and then, you know, the bobbin, it'll ha it has the pink, so, you don't really see too much of the pink. It's very light. And then right here is where I have um, one like this. It's a little bit larger and I just sewed around it. But I sewed uh, with mixed color thread. And then I put the stickers put stickers and uh, I had a stamp and then um, another stamp, another stamp and, and stickers. And then I just kind of sewed around each one coming up. And then I sewed around the cloth and then I used it as a tuck, a pocket. And so um, I can put, this is October 14th, but it's all white on the other side, so I figured that I could color it, write on it, and do whatever I want. Or even put pictures and then just kind of ink around. And then this right here on this side is really cute. It's like I glued uh, just two sides and left two sides open. So you can uh, have a tuck part here. And I did the front, you know, the front here and this part here. And they were, it was different things of, of the stamp. And so I went ahead and stamped some more and just used the, uh, those two. And then this right here is just a cutout paper that I thought went very well. And then, you know, I ink the edges. And then uh, this is the one that I thought, this paper is the one that I thought matched, matched this pretty good. And so this right here, you can open up and I took it and I made it larger. And uh, on, on both sides. And then this is an open, if you look really deep inside, you can tell it's the orange envelope, but it's for more pictures and stuff that, or uh, other things that you want to put in there. And then you fold it up. And uh, I did the pamphlet stitch. And here is the inch. You can see the hose. And it was really a, really a nice uh, 
time doing it. It didn't take too much time. I mean, most I spent most of the time with just sewing and enjoy and taking my time and enjoying it, enjoying some of the sewing part about it. So I hope you uh, get some ideas from it and uh, try and enjoy it too. Bye-bye.